Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to this tarot card reading with messages meant for you whenever this video happens to find you. Feel free to take whatever messages resonate for you and leave behind for others whatever does not. So we're going to start out by seeing what Pisces needs to know about the present situation. You have this card of perspective, which is the equivalent to the hanged man. So you might be trying to rise above a certain situation, trying to see things in a new way, um, possibly feeling that there's a not a lot going on or that you could do or should do at the moment. So let's see what brings this about for you. You have the sun here. So this is usually about joy and happiness and um, you know feeling uh, like a kid again, um, feeling a sense of excitement. So let's see what this pertains to because it could also be like, you know, maybe you're going on vacation or just came back from vacation. So you have present moment. Interesting. So here, this is a card to kind of be a reminder to tap into your senses, your, uh, you know, what's around you and your environment in terms of your connection to the environment, um, how things taste, how things sound, um, what things look like in terms of uh, like colors, um, what things smell like, good and bad, and overall, you know, how you're, you're feeling, um, you know, even, you know, the things around you, uh, the, a desk, a pencil. Um, so what is kind of interesting is the sun card. Um, it's almost as if this horse, the mane of the horse blends into the water of the uh, shoreline and it's kind of similar colors where it can all just blend into each other with this perspective card there's you know dark colors light colors um, all next to each other breaking things apart so it could be that um this is like um, this sun is more of things kind of being good, but good in a way that you're used to, um, good in a way that you expect. So here, um, there's like a need to be in the present moment. So it could be that's that's why there's this perspective situation. So let's take a look at the direction this is taking you. You have the temperance card here. A lot of major arcana cards. This present moment card is actually a unique card for this deck. But it's kind of like a major arcana card in the sense of being more um, life lesson, spiritual kind of thing, but it's more of a reminder. With this temperance card here, um, it's maybe having you slow down a little bit to uh, focus on what it is that you want in this temperance card, it's about moderation, balance, um, kind of finding your footing, um, 
and a sense of, you know, getting your s stability in there. Um, but in the traditional temperance card, the angel has a cup in each hand and is mixing the uh, liquid in the cups together. And there's a lot of focus and intention on what's being done at that time. Um, not paying attention to other things going on, but being very diligent in their efforts and focusing on what's going on with the uh, blending of the liquids so that the intention for the result that comes out of this mixing um, is infused into it. So there's a focus on creating a future outcome that's going on there. So in terms of where this is taking you, the direction it's taking you, it could be possibly like reconsidering some uh, way that you are living your life, pursuing a goal, um, pursuing a career possibly. So let's see what your brain is telling you about this situation. You have the Six of Cups, so it seems like you are reflecting on your past, um, possibly the things you wanted in your past. And the Sun card, it's reminding me also, the Sun card is traditionally a nude child riding on this white horse, and that kind of indicates you know, a uh, childlike joy and freedom and a sense of innocence and purity. So here with this Six of Cups, it's like your, your brain is possibly holding on to some aspects of a past happy moment, something that you enjoyed when you were younger maybe you're not pursuing those things now or maybe you are and it's not what you expected it to be so what is your heart telling you your heart is telling you four of wands so here your heart is telling you to um be happy to celebrate your accomplishments to um celebrate with the people that you care about, that care about you, and, you know, kind of uh, follow your heart. What is it that would give you uh, joy, not a past reminder of happiness some time ago, but in the present moment? So let's see what you should know going forward here, Pisces. You have the magician as above so below so here in terms of it, it's almost as if the things that you think about the things that you aspire to be or do uh, you can accomplish those things in the material world. It can be a reflection of what it is that you're thinking, you're focusing on, you're hopeful about. Um, you have the talent and skills or you're learning talents and skills or you can learn talent and skills and get access to the resources that you need uh, to create, manifest what you want for your life. Uh, perhaps it is kind of building up the confidence to do that, or maybe making an entire um, you know, shift in the choices that you had before and what you are kind of figuring out about yourself and what you want for your future. So I'm going to close off this reading with a message about what you don't see coming. 
you have this card of protection and preservation. So here it looks like there's these butterflies and this is about like transformation. So perhaps in this, this uh, process, you're trying to figure out what is it that you want to preserve about your past, um, about aspects of yourself and what is transforming and moving on from that. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.